Joining us now, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton. It's great to have you back on, Ken. Okay, so the most ever Border Patrol agents died in the line of duty. We've got 15 died. That's the most ever. Uh, the leading cause of death was COVID-19. We have 16,000 illegal immigrants, at least through the month of October, tested positive for COVID-19. So our border enforcement is getting exposed, right? I mean, everybody's humanitarian. We want to help yeah. illegal immigrants. But what about Border Patrol getting sick and dying? You know, I've been down there numerous times talking to Border Patrol. It is, it is a concern for them. They are worried about their own people. And this is something that is not surprising at all when you invite people to come to this country knowing that a certain high percentage of them have COVID, you also realize you're going to expose your own people to that. And they, we've knowingly done that. The Biden administration accepted those risks and we've lost people who are serving this country that shouldn't have been lost. And it's really sad. Yeah. And now testing is not mandatory. So that's what's happening too. And, you know, Ken, this is happening as for the first time in U.S. history, border enforcement intercepted more smuggled fentanyl than heroin over the last year. It's nearly double heroin of what heroin was seized and captured. 11,200 pounds of fentanyl versus 5,400 pounds of heroin. Fentanyl's really dangerous. We need our border team up and running to stop this. Yeah, and I've been predicting this from the beginning because if you go down there, you can see that these border patrol agents are so busy with logistics and moving people across the border, they don't really have the resources or the time to make sure that they're intercepting uh, drugs. And so, yeah, this is what they found, but the problem is a lot more gets through than should get through, and that means that people, again, are going to die, and that, that's a risk that the, the, this administration seems to be okay with. Well, you know, we've got 92,000 opioid overdose deaths uh, in 2020, that's up about 30 percent versus the prior year, right? I mean, so it's, but then we have like the highest rate of opioid overdose deaths, including from fentanyl, among African Americans and Native Americans. So minorities are getting hit hard by this. Yeah, again, this is not surprising given that the border's wide open and it really is uh, something that's going to continue. More people are going to die. If we keep the border open and we continue this policy of trying to let as many people in as we can without vetting this, going through the vetting process that is required by law, we're going to end up with more people dead from fentanyl, more people dead from, uh, from COVID. And that's not going to be just border agents. It's going to spread around the country and particularly to states where more of these refugees or immigrants are going. Well, Ken, how do you stop this? Americans unknowingly using fentanyl in bootleg fake counterfeit drugs. The DEA sees more than 20 million bootleg fake versions of prescription drugs pumped full of fentanyl. We're talking Vicodin, Percocet, Xanax, or Adderall. You know, those pills were enough to kill every American. Just two milligrams is enough to kill you. So how do you stop bootleg fake pills like that? Look, it's, it's, it's impossible to stop at all, but certainly the numbers have been rising dramatically over the last year since the Biden administration took over. And so we can certainly do better. We can at least go back to where we were and try to improve from that position as, as opposed to where we are now, which is we're more and more coming in, more and more people are dying. And guess what? I believe you'll see those numbers go up unless we can find a way to stop the Biden administration from inviting people into this country that shouldn't be here. Well, it just feels like a cavalier, careless kind of approach from the White House toward the border. That's what we keep hearing from border officials, that they, that they just are sort of putting it on autopilot and not stepping up. I mean, we've got fentanyl making it past law enforcement and pouring into U.S. streets, U.S. cities. And we've got the cartels, reports coming in, Ken, that the cartels are marketing on social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram or TikTok and YouTube. They're marketing their illegal products, their illegal drugs, including fentanyl on social media. Yeah, the cartels are not stupid. They know exactly what they're doing. They know the border's open. They, op they know it's open for business. They are making billions of dollars transporting individuals with COVID. They're making billions of dollars bringing fentanyl from China and then importing into the United States. And the Biden administration isn't just lack they're just not they're just not even trying. It's not that they're not even trying. Is they this a concerted is, is this a conscious is this a conscious choice by China or other countries and the cartels to destroy America? I believe it is. I think they know exactly what they're doing. What better way to destroy a country than import drugs, drugs that kill people? 